in my possession probably one of the most exclusive Air Maxes ever. All right, so pretty sure you want to know what they are. I'm not going to hold you too long because I already know that you're just as excited as I am to see it as I am to show you. All right, so this is what we have here. We have the Air Max 95, the Just Do It Air Max 95s. Um, cool fun fact about the Air Max 95, it obviously came out and debuted in 1995. This is probably one of Nike's most popular um, Air Maxes. It has come, come out in, in a plethora of colors. But another fun fact about the Air Max 95 is that on the box, it used to just say Air Max, Nike Air Max. They didn't really start putting the years till they started making more Air Maxes. So the 95 on the actual shoe box didn't actually debut until 1999. So that's that. Another cool fun fact about the Air Max 95 is that the inspiration came from Sergio Lozano. If I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize, but... Shout out to Sergio for this dope, dope inspiration. And the shoe was designed after the human body, right? So if we just take a closer look, um, the sole represents the spine. We have these little gauges in the body of it that represents the muscles. Then the shoelaces represent the ribs. And then the mesh part of every Air Max 95 represents the skin. So um, shout out to Sergio because that's, that's, uh, that's mighty dope. Another cool thing, this particular line the just do it the jdi line um came about because because i'm pretty sure everybody wants to know why are all these orange white and black shoes going around the reason why is because nike just celebrated their 30th anniversary of their slogan just do it another cool little eerie fun fact and i hope nike don't get me for this but the slogan just do it came from a serial killer a serial killer named Gary Gilmore, and he actually said, just do it, just before he was uh, killed <laughs> by gunfire in 1977, if I'm not mistaken. So that's just a little cool fun fact about the shoe. And speaking of just do it, so you know why I'm here, right? Higher education. Um, everybody knows in one of the most popular universities that Nike actually sponsors is none other than Oregon. Right, so we got the University of Oregon, Mighty Ducks. I am not an alumni from there, but I have always admired um, Oregon and their campus, and I've always been especially fond of their colors and the fact that Nike sponsors you. Like, how dope is that? So, with that being said, I want to say that Oregon is probably roughly about twenty thousand students. Um, it is the nation's or the nation's one of the nation's number one liberal arts and social sciences school so if you're interested in any type of liberal arts or social sciences that's just a fancy way of saying that i'm good at everything all right so if uh, if you're interested in that then oregon will be the place for you it is very much so a very diverse campus all right so university of oregon is located in eugene oregon all right and one of the another cool fun facts about university of oregon is 68 percent of their students graduate finish within six years now, I know what you're thinking. Six years, that's a very, very, very long time. But actually, studies show that it's not taking four years for people to graduate college anymore. It's actually taking four to six. Um, so if you're anywhere in there, it doesn't matter. And like I always say, as long as you finish, that's really what matters. So, um, and then plus, if you graduate from the University of Oregon, you're pretty dope anyways because of Nike. So how about that? So that's that. We got all of those fun facts and information out of there. But you know, the number one reason that I love to share my kicks with you you know why i'm here i come bearing the good news the good news being the gospel so with that being said we have second timothy one and seven it's probably one of the most popular scriptures ever so if you want to guess go ahead i'll let you guess god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind the reason that i chose that scripture is because it goes right along with the just do it tagline just do it do it afraid, as my aunt would say. Doesn't matter uh, what's, what's against you. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Doesn't matter what you're not good at. Doesn't matter what you don't have. You need to think about the fact that you can do it. If you have the capability, just do it. Do it afraid. But even better than that, God hasn't even given you the spirit of fear. So you can just pray. You can cast that down. You can go forth and go be great. All right? So 
Don't forget to follow me. Follow me as I follow Christ, but even better, follow me as I follow Christ in these dope kicks. So hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Also hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the dopest red. Follow me on Twitter at the dopest red. Type in my name, Adrian Green, on Facebook, and then of course Snapchat, which only lasts for every 24 hours at Dope Tris. All right, so make sure that you do all of those things, and I can't wait until I see you on the next episode.